Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the park bench. And by park bench, I mean surprisingly low <laughs> bit of wall. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't pick a good place. We there are... used to be a bench here. We've come here before and there was a bench. And, and this time, uh, we are being steadily, steadily invaded by pigeons. There were no pigeons here a moment ago. And now, there are many pigeons. Where's Hitchcock when you need him? Oh, he's dead. Uh, dead, he? yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we set a challenge uh, a couple of weeks ago for you. We were in America to watch the total eclipse of the sun. Yes. Turn around. And... <laughs> it's downhill from here, Bob. It's downhill from here. And we set you the challenge to guess where we were viewing it from. Based on very little evidence, or at least what we thought was very little evidence. Matt, you've seen kind of the over the overview that I've got on my screen here of yeah. all so the we, guesses. Uh, y you told us lat long uh, information yep. of where you thought we were. We have plotted this on a map. And here it is. Thank you, uh, thank you to Google Earth, by the way, who <laughs> it turns out will just let people on YouTube use it as long as you include all the credit. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, that's nice. Straight screenshot there. So there you go. Um, and unsurprisingly, you have picked the path of the eclipse. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, first of all, the, the guesses that came in were only allowed to be within a bounding box around the United States. Uh, well done to those of you who guessed the ocean. There's, there's a lot of people who picked like the, the minus 69 degree of longitude or 69.420 or something like that. There's a lot of... Oh, you're so funny. Yeah, you were nowhere near. Um... Um, I, I noticed there's one here in the bottom right in the sea. Wasn't yes. there a boat going that way? And didn't it actually have Bonnie Tyler on it? Somewhere around there, yeah. I can't remember exactly where it was. <laughs> we were not on that boat. No. Now, I, s I haven't looked at the direct results because... Yeah, I've been saving those to, for, to avoid spoiling you. But uh, I will tell you, uh, 1,200 or so guesses. Wow. That's a lot. Wow. Some of you get bored. <laughs> um, I saw some of the YouTube comments and some Twitter replies. A lot of yeah. you thought we were in Nebraska and mm. the general top left area of America. Uh, those, yeah, so those are two different things. Can I, can I zoom in here and yeah. show you? Uh, so the vast majority of guesses, you're absolutely right, are in Nebraska, just here. So if I zoom in on this section, the, there is a big cluster uh, around Lincoln, Nebraska uh, and around a town called York. Ah, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong, but not quite as wrong as you might think. <laughs> okay, that was that was a lovely guess when yeah. I went round there. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't have been there for a couple of reasons. When we get to the correct guesses, I'll like I've got everyone's chains of logic they've typed in. Um, uh, I could see it from a couple of YouTube comments. It was down to foliage. Apparently yeah. that's a corn state and we were surrounded by corn. Yes, you were also right when you say quite a few people, uh, not as many, but there's a big cluster up in the northwest here, up in Oregon and, and Idaho, around, and, uh, Idaho, around here and here. I know nothing about Idaho. Uh, very few people know anything about Idaho. I'm not entirely certain it exists. It could be one of those conspiracies. Feeder have a song about Idaho. I don't know how it goes. Well, I know how it goes, but I don't know what the lyrics are. I don't hear lyrics in songs. Uh, so there is this, uh, I'm just going to move on from this, um, there is this little cluster, I don't know why I'm gesturing with my finger, you can't see that, I'll use the mouse, this little cluster around Idaho Falls, which you can kind of see the terrain there is a bit greener, a bit farmlandy. Uh, no, sadly that wasn't right for a couple of reasons. Um, one, we're looking directly overhead, so the eclipse was a bit later than that, mm -hmm. and two, we're in the corn belt. Like, we would not have, del have deliberately gone to a cornfield if we were in, like, we should point out when we actually had this idea. Like, this was not a big setup. When did we have this idea? I don't remember. I suggest it to you on the car ride to the eclipse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a memory of a fish. So we have accidentally created a really, really good puzzle for people. Yeah. Because I looked at the, you know, the average guess is, is all over the place, but they're, they're vaguely in the right area. Do you want to talk about roughly where we were? And I will zoom in on the map as we go. Um, so our main reason for where we were going was based on your judgment of the weather. Yes. And Missouri kind of looked like the state that had the yep. best weather. Yeah. Um, we ruled out the Pacific Northwest uh, because uh, there were probably going to be too many people there. It was going to be too expensive. We booked a bit too late for that. And it's really far away. Yeah. So if you look... Uh, <laughs> From the UK. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at the graphs of where the weather is likely to be best, the second best choice is St. Louis, Missouri. So that's where we flew to. Uh, in the previous video, I mentioned 20 hours of travel. I saw one YouTube comment or Twitter comment assuming we, that meant 20 hours of driving. No. Uh, so it's about an 
nine hour flight to Chicago and then another hour and a bit from there to St. Louis for me. Yeah. The other clue about the weather, you said it was 33 degrees. Mm. A few people took that as a line of, uh, of latitude. <laughs> Unlucky. Um, also, like it, that wasn't a much of a red herring. If you, if you did guess that, it was obvious from all the other clues it couldn't have been that. Yeah. Um, but also the only states that got hot enough to be that hot, and you're exactly right with that temperature, I looked it up, you were spot on on the day, um, were east of the Rockies, east of Nebraska, into Missouri, into Illinois. It's funny, it's almost like I was reading that off a temperature gauge on the car. It's on the dashboard in front of where I was sitting. Yeah, but that was in Fahrenheit, and you got the conversion spot on. Oh, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. So we've now narrowed it down to Missouri. The next chain of logic I thought people were going to take was to look up on the day what the weather forecasts for that area were and what someone who was in a big population centre would... There are more pigeons! But... Alfred! There's a dozen of... Anyway... There's um, more than a dozen. There's a lot of pigeons. Um, all the Four, weather forecasts five, six, seven, for St. Eight, Louis... Nine, 10, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... Are we up 21. 21 pigeons. That's a band. The Pigeon Detectives is a band. And I was thinking of 21 Pilots, but never mind. Ah! <laughs> okay, they just got scared off by a bigger bird. <laughs> yeah, that's a helicopter. Moving on. Um, the, the weather forecast for the day. For anyone in that area, said so go south and east. Now, I, I wouldn't know how to look up a weather forecast for the previous day. Um, I think I've tried that before with a load of Googling and, and not got very far. But if you're looking for eclipse weather, then there were loads of blog posts. Yes, there were. On local news sites, which yeah. is one of the things we find. So anyone who is roughly in the right area will have avoided Nebraska, will have looked at the weather, will have stayed east of St. Louis, and we're now down to only a couple of hundred guesses. So if you got it to within 50 kilometres, you would so close you're in the right area and congratulations here is the list of names of people who got it to with it look at... <laughs> this is ch genuinely just a little bit threatening here we, we've seen pigeons before there are pigeons all over here but this is a lot in a very yeah. small area tit <laughs> that's a robin oh it's not a, a robin isn't it yeah good guess there are tits good all over the place as well good opportunity to use the word tit but uh um, right. So it's at this point... When I say on it... <laughs> <laughs> so... There are loads of spots on the map in that area. Yeah. Wow, loads of people were close. So you'll see this cluster down here. And no one's guessed there. actual St. Louis. They've actually guessed we've gone They've gone in the eclipse right path, it. yeah. Um, so there's a big cluster down here uh, near Carbondale, Illinois which is near the point of greatest eclipse. That was the biggest town near the point of greatest eclipse, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, which is an excellent guess. We nearly yeah. did end up there. But as we'll see from the people who got the chain of logic right, that was not a correct guess. And one of our reasonings for not going there is, number one, it looked doable on the map, but like all places in America, the scale was surprisingly wide. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's further than it looks. Yes. Because <laughs> we're used to looking at maps of a very small country. <laughs> Um, so one of the chains of logic I'll get to later pointed out that we have to be somewhere around here. Ten people were within one kilometre. And I'm now going to zoom in on the map to show where those were. Whoa. Yes, you'll notice the cluster here and you'll notice a town called Chester. Uh, we were looking on the map. We knew we had to go bottom left of St. Louis and we knew that Carbondale was about in the centre point of the eclipse. So going that way was a good idea for both that and for... for which being near the centre point means we get a longer totality. Yeah, I'm just going to try and tell this to my phone, so I'm not sure it's working off yours, Cap. Sorry, yeah, carry yeah. on. Uh, the other advantage is that the weather indicated that no... the further we went bottom right of St. Louis, the better the weather was. So we went in that direction, we found we wanted to find somewhere vaguely in the countryside so we had a better chance of clear roads so we could drive away from the weather if we had to. Yeah. Uh, and as I was zooming in, Chester popped up. It was a smaller place than uh, Carbondale was, so less likely to be a destination for tourists. Yeah. 
And I used to live in Chester in the UK, so that probably made it ping into my mind a little bit. All the people who said York, you you were on the right lines, you just didn't know information <laughs> that was required. That wasn't a deliberate thing. So, uh, so we picked a spot. Um, obviously, the easiest place to pull up and park in a random place in America is a Walmart car park. So we spent several hours there. Uh, I'd like to give a specific uh, shout out here to, uh, where's the name? Ray Wang, uh, who was 99.1 kilometers away because he met us at Walmart. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ray, you met us at the Walmart we were at the previous day <laughs> to get supplies for the road trip. Yes. <laughs> so close, so close. Uh, so we sat it out in that car park with flipping through radio stations, hearing what they had to say about yep. the local weather and traffic. We set off really early that morning because um, there was pr prediction of possible horrific traffic. Yes, there uh, wasn't any. They no. Just swarming. I think they just must have found some food and told all their mates. Uh, is that a tit? That is a. It was a tit. Yeah, that was. But a tit. I didn't get my camera out in time to uh, to get a picture of the tit for you. Uh, <laughs> So we, we, we sat in this car park for several hours. Um, and then it got close to the time. So we thought, right, let's find a bit of road, which was east-west facing. That way we can run down the road. Several people glommed onto that. Um, so we can drive further if we need to get out of the way of the weather. And on, on our way there, because we'd set off really early, just in case there was lots of traffic, we got there at about 7 a.m. The eclipse was at midday, 1 p.m. So we had to drive around a, a lovely, the, one of the best named little towns I've been to north of there, uh, Sparta. Sparta! Uh, and that was Sparta. Yeah, we got We got. We got, we got, we got uh, <laughs> Uh, so round some cornfields around there, then we spotted somewhere a bit further south um, and found a, a bit of road that had no ditch next to it. And which was not on Google Street View, accidentally. Lots of people try oh, really? to track us down with that. That road is not on Street Isn't View. Isn't it? It's not. <laughs> we oh. accidentally created a really good puzzle here. So I should point out, uh, as we came, some of the people who are close but no cigar all went round here near the, uh, the Perryville Municipal Airport here, because you can hear the plane. Absolutely right, you're oh, all just yeah. a bit too close, not quite on the, not quite on the road. Um, this is the correct cluster, just here. Just past Belgique. Just past Belgique. Or however you pronounce that. So you can see here, um, the, the video, oh. re the recorder I'm using will not show the names here for bizarre technical reasons. Gregoire, that was your guess, just there. You had the right road, you had the right everything, but we're next to a road, we're next to a turn to the right. And you can see two different crops right next to us, so yeah, we're at the we edge the, of two fields. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So uh, that's RT up there as well, here. So close. So close. We weren't in the middle of a field. Uh, uh, you only gave three decimal points of precision, that wasn't in Ah! And I did check, Whoa. none of them Yeah. One of these is the correct reading. So let me run through. Oh, you took the reading off your phone. I took the reading off my phone and I showed what I was doing. I was doing it from the driver's seat of a car <laughs> that was pulled <laughs> off the side of the road. I've checked, it is the correct place. Uh, and I was saying I was taking that reading as ground truth anyway. Yeah. So uh, in eighth place, Eric Petrick, you were, two, you were 22 meters away. Terrain looked like river floodplain, he says. No. He is not the only one to work that out. We were on the floodplain of the Mississippi River. The soil, if you know that sort of thing, is apparently really obvious. Huh. And that narrows it down to a tiny stretch where major river floodplain overlaps the eclipse path really? in the corn belt. If you made those three deductions as Eric did, you've basically got us. Wow. Unfortunately, uh, Eric, you also didn't put quite enough decimal points of precision in your oh. guess. You are off on the field opposite. Not close enough. Next up, Donnie Morrow. Really long explanation including, uh, he's saying it's the Virginian tiger moth. I saw a few Good people luck. say that. He's worked out the temperature, he's worked out the soil, he's worked out everything. Yes. You are on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> so, so close. close. So close. Wrong side of the road. So that brings us to this little cluster just here. One of which 
is the correct guess. In, uh, in sixth place, uh, Jason Lawson. Congratulations to you, you were 8.9 meters away. He timed the length of the eclipse in the time lapse. He was absolutely right, I was lazy, I just reduced it by a, by a thousand, I think it was 2,000 2, percent probably. or something like that. I just typed in a round number, you're absolutely right, you can work that out. Um, had to be a paved road, and like, yeah, worked Short everything ditches. out. Short Yeah, spot on. Unfortunately, Jason, you were on the road and not off the road. You not didn't zoom in fast enough, fast enough, far enough when you were taking your reading. In fifth place, with eight metres, is Sean, who just says, spent way too long looking at Google Street View. Given that that road's not on Google Street <laughs> View, Sean, I have no idea how you manage that. Um, but unfortunately, you're slightly too far along. The yeah. car was not quite parked there. And we couldn't have done because there was a bit of a ditch. Yes. Which brings me to fourth place. Mitch. 4.2 metres away. We uh, have probably stood on that bit of ground. Yes. But there were other people closer. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, all the same kind of things. Um, time scaling, the time lapse. Yeah, look for left right roads with eclipse length, similar scenery. Telegraph poles, you spotted the telegraph yeah, poles. Absolutely. And spot I, on. One thing I did, I, I refrained from putting my photos online. Yeah. Because I always put my photos on Flickr and I pretty much always geotag them and I, yeah. I haven't. But unfortunately, Mitch, you failed to recognise that we were off the road, not on it. Oh! It's that, if he'd have placed that off the road, that's probably the best guess. Yeah. But unfortunately, no, you can see, I think you can see traffic moving in both directions without going past us. <laughs> Third place, Tom from Cardiff. Um, he worked out the caterpillar. He worked out the shadow lengths. The lengths of our shadows are one over 1.9732-ish of their caster, which puts us in Missouri or Illinois. Wow. Yes. Hi. I'm sorry, but it's not allowed to use the tripod inside the car. Oh, really? We can't use tripods? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can filming, but without the tripod. Can you give us two minutes to finish this, and then we'll clear it? Okay, and I'm closing this area. Okay, okay. no we'll worries. We'll be done in two minutes. Um, uh, ish. Uh, yeah, uh, 0.732 ish, which puts us in that area. That's four decimal points of precision and you're putting ish on it. You've been measuring our shadow length. Yeah, so uh, again, worked almost everything out, but unfortunately is just a little too far away from the remaining two guesses. And if it wasn't obvious, oh. here is the correct one. That's the reading I took. Oh yeah. And there are two just here, uh, Shantanu and Greg Stokowski. I might be mispronouncing either one of those. Who or were, both. <laughs> who were 2.78 and 2.75 meters away. There is 30 centimeters between the two final guesses. Um, one of them, uh, again, all of these, one of them, uh, several people said this, by the way, you took the photo of the eclipse. They looked at Regulus, which is the star that was visible to the left, worked out the distance Use that uh, to that clue was a in the star, timing. Not a planet. To the right was a planet. Oh. Yeah, and you were right, actually, it was Venus. I miscalled that. Told you. <laughs> to the left was a star. And that's that's what they could see. Um, and the final one? And well, and, and Greg, uh, again, almost all the same things, all the logic we've run through so time. So that means that we draw on the map. Shantanu, just here. And Greg just here. Closer by literally 30 centimetres, Greg Stokowski. I'd give you a round of applause, Greg, but I'm holding a microphone. Maybe I can do it with my knees. Well done. We that, will, that's amazing. Yeah, we'll send you the joke by email, because I've saved your oh, one yes. email. We will send you that at the same moment that this video releases. So hopefully there's been some drama for everyone. Congratulations, world. Um, you successfully stalked us. Please don't ever do that again. No, please don't. Please do not do that. We might, we might craft a good puzzle like this in future, yes. but in general, if we're releasing a video from a place, we are long gone from that place. It's genuinely disturbing 
how well this worked. Um, however, it's also uh, quite nice to know that, yes, 10 people got within a kilometre, about 1,200 didn't. And all the people who collaborate, all the people who said, oh yeah, I worked together with these folks. It's completely wrong. wrong. Oh, completely wrong. So congratulations, Greg. Um, you're the, 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 the worthless prize uh, is, is yours. Yeah, completely worthless. Yeah. I well, mean, there go, we go. I was going to say, good luck from this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's it. And we have to leave now because we've just been asked to leave the park. <laughs> yeah, we have actually just been asked to leave. That's... I have seen so many amateur entomologists on here enthusiastic claim that they are certain they know what type of caterpillar it is. It is. One of you is right. All the others are wrong. I don't know what type of caterpillar <laughs> that was. 